we have found the cure for all of the Karens and Kevins out there, y'all. Just give them these. Hey you guys, today we're gonna be looking at something pretty amusing actually. We came across this a couple of days ago and we thought we would share. Apparently there's such a thing as sugar-free gummy bears by Haribo. And um, while I personally have never tried them, after reading these reviews I don't think I ever want to. These things are hilarious, so I thought for this video we'll, we'll just read through some of them to give you guys a kind of idea of like what. <laughs> this whole thing is about. So let's give it a look. All right, so diarrhea by drive, while driving. One of our beloved physicians bought a bag of gummy bears to work to share with the staff one night shift. Not realizing they were the famous dreaded sugar-free gummies, multiple staff throughout the shift grabbed a handful of gummies while passing by and each have their own near-miss stories. But this is mine. The next morning, I have to run an errand about an hour and a half from my house. On the drive home, down a curvy back country road, my stomach suddenly begins to cramp and I feel the immediate urge to empty my bowels. Oh gosh. Frantic as I realize I'm not going to make it home, I start searching for a place to pull over. The end of a gated logging road, perhaps? I'm speeding along, arcing back. Arching back? Arching my back, practicing llama's breathing techniques. I probably botched that, but oh well. Anything to stall the inevitable. I pass the first turnoff that has a sheriff's car parked at the end. I keep searching with sweat pouring down my forehead and bubbling noises in my guts that drown out the heavy metal on the stereo. You have any idea how much this person's stomach is just screaming? Oh my god. Finally, I spot the end of a bushy trail and whip my truck sideways, thrusting the driver's side door open and leaping from the seat to scurry around to the other side. I turn around with fingers in waistband, about to drop trowel, and look up to my horror, realizing it is indeed the end of a driveway, and the folks outside are start staring down toward me, probably wondering what this crazy individual is about to do. For several moments, I seriously considered just completing the task and running away, but couldn't imagine my parents seeing the cell phone video of myself on social media later in the day. I scurried back around the truck, and halfway there, my ability to hold back the hot lava flow of liquid school from making a hasty exit of my spasming right was lost, and I grabbed my pants right there on the side of Standing next to my truck, my bowels cramped up and expelled every drop of liquid from my body. At that point, I'm now standing there with leggings full of hot liquid stool running into my shoes and debating on what the next best course of action should be. Of course, I have no extra clothes or any towels in my truck. What do I do? Do I call someone? Do I drive home the remaining 20 minutes? After a few moments of self-reflection, I decided to strip off my shirts and lay them on the seat of my truck and get inside. It was a rather uncomfortable drive home with the windows all down and skin burning on the backs of my legs and buttocks. It was one of the longest 20 minute periods of time I ever experienced in my life. I alternated between crying and laughing at the situation and checking the speedometer like a paranoid drunk thinking I can't possibly get pulled over right now because what would I say? Yes officer, I crap my pants. That's what the smell is. Tears stream Coming down my face, I finally arrive home, screeching to a halt in the driveway in front of the open automatic garage door. I triggered as I was drifting the curve onto my road. Holding the bottoms of my pant legs closed tight, I awkwardly staggered into my house and immediately into the shower fully clothed. Fast forward three weeks and I'm at work hearing about the other incidents and the light bulb clicks on. 35 years old and I had to reset the clock for the how long since you last crapped your pants countdown. Thank you, doctor. Lesson learned. Make sure the gummy bears are not the sugar-free version. Okay. That person was a storyteller. Can we just have a whole book compiled of these things? Like, there would be so much money. Amazon, get on it. 
I weighed 189 before I ate these. Now I'm a skeleton. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> I feel like we've all been there at some point, y'all. Better than Miralax. I was in a financial pinch, just having paid our taxes, with what little money left under the seats of our couch, okay? I was able to scrounge up about around $10. As you can tell, it's been years since we've cleaned our couch. Twenty-five years to be exact. So ten dollars is a reasonable is a reasonable fine. As I went to the store to purchase some medicine, I only had ten dollars from the couch, but Mirror Lights was eleven with tax. But these gummies, <laughs> free two day shipping, I knew was a w wait. So this person did it on purpose? A win-win. <laughs> only waiting just two days, the prize gummies made their way to my door. Just opening the smell of the bag made my bowels rumble. Fight. I knew this would do the trick. Forget me relax. This stuff is the jam. <laughs> My intestines want to specifically thank Haribo and their anti-sugar stance. These outperform any modern medicine when you need to be on the go. Okay, but this was rated one star, but I I don't see any complaint here. Wanted something like mirror legs, and you said that works better. So why did you not give this five stars? He paid for gummies, not mirror legs. But he did it on purpose. <laughs> Next one, eat if you dare. All of these are rated one star, by the way, and they're of the highest quality. I sit here writing this review at 4 a.m. from my porcelain throne. <laughs> oh my god. A fixture you will become all too familiar with if you choose to eat these cute little bears. <laughs> I had to eat a pound of these little things after Man City must have thought they were playing American football the other week and lost to a team of Arsenal scrubs. They were a bit chewy, but overall appeared to be nothing more than your average gummy bears. After about two hours with little more than some mild stomach cramps, feeling like one would expect from eating a pound of any candy. Wait, they ate the whole pound of candy? Oh. No wonder wow. your stomach's hurting! I began to wonder if I'd gotten some duds. Wait, you're doing this on purpose? That's what these people <laughs> wanted to do this on purpose! Like the slow buildup of a Martin Scorsese film, however, those bears were waiting for their baptism of sea to destroy my <laughs> it started with the cramping, very akin to doing 1,000 crunches, and then being forced to hold the 1,000 first crunch indefinitely. Then came the initial run, which opened the proverbial floodgates. I'm over 30, and I'm beginning to wonder if these bears know that and want to send me back to the can for each year I've been on this earth <laughs> to make me wonder why I'd ever been born. In between gastrointestinal bouts of pressure washing the inside of my toilet from my... <laughs> I lay in bed, feeling as if someone were to punch me in the stomach. I'd explode, turning the walls of my bedroom into a soil Jackson Pollock rendition. <laughs> this person is full of references. I know! I love it! To give you an idea, I'd spent $50 ordering a UFC pay-per-view only to willingly miss the last two to three fights on the main card because I didn't want to stray too far from my master bathroom. Thankfully for me and my marriage, <laughs> fearing what might be coming, I convinced my wife to spend the evening at my sister-in-law's <laughs> because trust me fellas, nothing will be gained from your significant other experiencing this with you. Wow. I'm no longer in pain, but <laughs> still having to make trips back to my master back on a regular basis. Eat, you, eat these if you dare, but be forewarned, they are not to be trifled with unless you want your toilet to be a staging ground for repeat fecal rehearsals of the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones. This person is... <laughs> they are very up on pop culture. I love it so much. <laughs> it's quite the narrative. I would read a book by them. Oh, I'm serious. I was on these of just a compilation. Just make it into a book. 
get on it, please, or I'll do it for you. Let's try to do the next one without laughing. <laughs> I could do that fine. You, on the other hand. <laughs> okay. Complete ripoff. None of the fun side effects. Fun? I bought these for a friend who has stomach issues. Again, why are you doing this on purpose? Did you just hate your friend? He crushed about 20 of them knowing their potential effects and absolutely nothing happened. At this price point, this is a huge ripoff. On top of that, the package that they came in is not standard hair of packaging. They come in a bag with a label affixed to them that looks like it came off of someone's printer. That sounds like a little sketchy. I would highly recommend against purchasing these. But I don't understand. Like, why would you do that on purpose? I'm sorry, but at this price point, the things are five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I was wrong. These things are like thirty something dollars. I love them. I hate them. I love them. You see where this is going. All right. This seems like a fun one. The little voice in my head assured me you can eat a handful of these and walk away. <laughs> Well, that little voice is a self-assured jerk that likes making me look bad. I ate more than a handful and ended up running, not walking to the bathroom several times over 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have, e have never farted like a howitzer and wish to experience it for yourself, pick up some of these sugar-free Haribo gummy bears. If you have a roomie or coworker who is always eating your snacks, leave a dish of these lying around. I bet they'll never eat your food again. If you enjoy the feeling of being bloated like a Macy's Thanksgiving Day balloon, or wanting to experience searing gut pain not unlike appendicitis, or feel like you just haven't been spending enough time in your favorite bathroom, then this is the candy for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. But again, this person did it to themselves. Yeah, they did. This will probably be my last one. I can't take too much more of these. All this one says is, it's true. A coworker sent me a link to this product and I got a laugh out of the reviews. A fellow coworker did not believe the comments on the product were real. So I ordered a one pound bag and offered it to him to prove the reviews were not real. Well, he ate two or three bears over the course of the day then chickened out. However, another co-worker decided he would try them. On day one of his experiment, he ate about 20 over the course of a day and no problem. On day two, he went to town on those little evil bears, but he left before I had the chance to ask if he was feeling alright after his bear binge. The next day when I caught up with him, he told me his stomach got a little upset, but that was all. However, a little later, one of the employees that sits across the way from the men's room mentioned to me that they had seen the bear muncher running to the men's room the day before and that he was in there for at least an hour. When he left the restroom, he was described as pale and shaky. When the reporting co-worker went to use the men's room shortly after, he reported the sight... <laughs> I can't say what it really says, but long story short, crapocalypse. <laughs> he thought the bear muncher got his trousers down, but experienced the human equivalent of a rectal space shuttle launch before he <laughs> to sit on the porcelain throne. The reporter of the aftermath of the bear powered crap tornado said the toilet was so nasty he decided to hold his business until he got home. Uh, well, that's what you get for not listening to the reviews. Yeah. Like, here's the kicker. 58 people found that one helpful. Let's look at the five star, see what they say. Oh, you want five star? Because I saw one that looked interesting. All right. <laughs> you guys like this one and Amazon doesn't like cut us off. We might do another one of these. These are too good. I like the title. Miss Rona is shaking in her boots. <laughs> My friend hasn't been practicing social distancing during the pandemic. Shame on you. So I bought him a bag of these gummies for his birthday. It's been 10 days now since he's left his house out of fear of doing that to himself. I'm not going to say Haribo sugar-free classic bears are the cure for <laughs> but it certainly <laughs> helps slow down the spread. I don't know how good of a friend you are, but at, then at the same time, you're keeping this guy home. So maybe you are the best friend. Best friend ever right there. <laughs>
We have found the cure for all of the Karens and Kevins out there, y'all. Just give them these. I'm in shock. I know who to give those two now. I do too, actually. I think we're thinking of the same people. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, guys, we have gone way over what we're used to. Hope you enjoyed this video. We sure did. We're probably going to do another one of these regardless of what happens. We, we're enjoying it too much. But in any case, y'all need to look these things up yourselves. We'll put a link in the description if you guys really want. Like, this is some classic stuff that everyone needs to experience. So, until next time, you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.